The National Ambulance Service has commenced user training of equipment on board the new ambulances. The program forms part of preparatory activities towards the commissioning and de deployment of the ambulances. The training is on capacity building and equipping emergency medical technicians with the requisite skills and knowledge to enable them handle emergencies. The workshop will be in two sessions to the next session expected to be held next week. Today's workshop will concentrate on the equipment while the second training, which will take place next week, will be on operations of the ambulance vehicles themselves. A representative from the ambulance manufacturing company, EMSA, commended governments for procuring the ambulances. We unequivocally reserve this opportunity to thank and congratulate the government of Ghana for their decisiveness, precision and courage to start this ambulance procurement project for the people of Ghana which is the biggest in quantity in Africa, as far as we know. The Minister for Special Development Initiatives, Hawa Kumsin, is confident all other measures would be put in place to ensure the commissioning on January 28. All of them have been taken care of. We are them tracking, they are there. When you go to the four courts of parliament, as we speak, they are doing the tracking. But those that are even ready there, they are done with them so we are waiting for the PDI that is pre-delivering inspection from the Silver Star then they do about 10 in a day and when they bring it they also do the tracking we are also doing the labeling of the constituencies because we said each constituency will have one ambulance and so it must be identified this is for this constituency and they are also ongoing this is one of the ambulances that we have and you will see all the necessary equipment that is needed to be able to operate this ambulance. Um, personnel tell me that there are some things that they didn't have in the old ambulance, and that is the patient's monitor, which you can see. Um, you also have the fetal monitor, uh, which were all not present in the old ambulances. But for these new ones, uh, patients are going to have all these things there to ensure that they have very good emergency medical response. 259 of the ambulances have been received, with 48 expected to arrive next week.